Hey there, everybody. Parks Alza here with Invin Global, and this is Jaden. You may know her as Your Princess on Twitch. Recently uh, featured in the Twitch Rivals, yeah, it was and you fun. you got second place there. Yeah, it was it was intense. Honestly, it's the most intense tournament I've ever played in. <laughs> I can imagine. So, how did when when you entered the tournament first off? Yeah. Did you expect to do so well? Honestly, with my team that we had, I really had high hopes. I knew that we were so coordinated well together, and I really loved the team, so I knew that we'd go far. How did you organize practices for this? We honestly didn't practice that much. We would have teams reach out to us, and we would accept a few whenever we had the time, but unfortunately, we didn't really talk a lot. We didn't have coaches that helped us. Other teams had that, and we, we didn't really like need it. We kind of just we clicked. It was weird. <laughs> so you just had the, the natural synergy. Yeah, it was awesome. I really loved it. Well, good. Yeah. I mean, it was fun to watch. It was a fun event. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm excited that we're seeing kind of more stuff like that. Like we've yeah. seen the LCS show, show matches and, and kind of other things that are focused around mm -hmm. like the, the real life individuals rather than the top one point or point zero 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 one percent. Elo players. I think people were mad that people like Tyler won and I'm a cutie pie didn't win. And they're <laughs> the high, like really high elo, like, I mean, high elo, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was definitely fun. Um, so congrats. Thank you. What, what was kind of your like may, either most fun moment or just biggest takeaway, something maybe you learned? Oh, man, being the lowest seal on the team. Uh, we had like, you know, master tier players, challenger tier players. Uh, we had a D4 jungler, but I mean, I was lower than that kind of like zero P. Um, <laughs> I learned a lot. I learned a lot from Swifty. He's a really good thrush player. And they taught me new things like edge of night or yeah, I think it's Edge of Night. It blocks Karthus ulti. And I was just like, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it was new things to learn, yeah. That's cool. I actually didn't know that either. Yeah, so pop it and it's gone. <laughs> That's actually, and since we're seeing so much Karthus, yeah. I haven't seen that item built um, to counter it. Yeah, I haven't seen it much either. That's why I like knowing. So yeah, you, you guys it. should learn. <laughs> Uh, if you see Karthus in your game, which you probably will. Don't, break, don't build Hex Drinker. Build Edge of Night. <laughs> that is so smart. Thank okay. you. No problem. Um, <laughs> and thanks to, I guess, Swifty. Or Swifty. Who? Yeah, it was Swifty. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what else then? Um, were there any, like, really fun moments or, like, things that wouldn't happen, you know, in solo queue? But since you were with Five and since it was kind of this crazy tournament, yeah. um, any fun, like, highlight moments? Yeah, so um, when I hit every single shot on Yasuo and I'm a cutie pie was like holy your princess is insane like I would have missed one and it was he was dashing and it was the last team fight before we defeated uh Yasuo's team zero two for them um yeah I saw that play. I actually really? saw your tweet yeah. and was like, oh, who is it? Oh, cool. Like someone's getting noticed. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. I was like, wait. That was me. Yeah, that was me. I was so happy about that. <laughs> so is, what would you have to do then to top that? Like if someone else, like who else would have to notice you making a sick play and, and shout you out? Oh, that was huge. I mean, Tyler won. But he, uh, he kind of like shouted out our team by calling us T -t 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 trash. So <laughs> yeah, that's what he said about us. But I was like, if he notices that I make a good player, you know. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, there you go. Um, so Tyler won officially better than Cutie Pie, at least. Technically, by... if we really put this in technical terms, there was no AD carry in the finals except for me. And think about it. I'm a Cutie Pie and Tyler won didn't make it to the finals, but I did. So technically, out of all the content creators, I might be the best. That's also <laughs> a good really. point. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Well, that's cool. So what is kind of your goal then? Um, you know, how long have you been streaming? Is this like a... A big long-term thing like this is what I want to do for you know 10 15 20 years um, or are you just like I'm just streaming because it's fun and I'm actually gonna do whatever else and and this is just kind of working out I'm honestly just streaming because it's fun but I see it helping me in the long term I'm balancing college on top of this I have like four classes right now and I'm going into classes every Tuesday and Thursday it used to be almost every day um, but yeah no I really enjoy streaming and it supported me a lot and my even my family supports me so it's like I'm moving to LA next year. I will. And it's like my goals and I'm trying to achieve them one by one by one. So, yeah. Are you continuing college in LA or is that, are you moving here as like a next step thing? Finishing my uh, college career in communications and then just furthering on. I was originally in nursing actually, but I couldn't balance three, like three science classes and a math class and streaming every day basically. So I went to communications, which has been a lot easier. And I enjoy it, too. So, yeah. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. So, you know, good luck on the rest of that. Hopefully you can continue to do both. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, the stream will just work out so well. It's, it's been really great.
I really appreciate all the support, but yeah. Good. Um, so th what then have been kind of your strategies to grow? Because I think that's something, you know, a lot of people when they start out, yeah. um, you know, it's like, I think people get down on themselves maybe because they, they just want, ha they want numbers Success and, and you don't get them. Yeah. It's so not. what have you done then? So I've been streaming, well, I've been in the scene of League of Legends for almost six years now. I grew up supporting Pokimane, supporting x Choco Bars. Even when they were playing Fortnite, I still watched their streams. And I kind of just grew into like my own person, I guess. I was I started as a Twitch viewer, and I still am. People call me crazy. I'm subbed to like 30 people on Twitch. And I, I got rid of my TV, and I only watched Twitch. And <laughs> I'm just really invested in the community. And I think it's super important that you like do the same for like people streams or a streamer it's just you do invest yourself in your community i do discord interviews i'm active on social media every single day i'm streaming almost every single day actually too so yeah that's really impressive so how did you how did you start out then because obviously you know now like um you're doing a lot for your stream yeah when it was like the early days oh boy. and like things were tough. Yeah. yeah. So how did, you, how did you kind of continue doing it? And then how did you make those numbers go from 20 to, you know, what they are now? So it was honestly consistency that added in those numbers. I was streaming. My mom told me when I was like 16, 15, all those ages in high school that I could only stream and play video games on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I also had to work at Target on those days. So it would be me streaming either super early for like a couple hours or me streaming super late. And I watched back on the VODs or the clips and the content is like really scuffed. The, the stream quality is really bad. But as I graduated high school and went into college, I knew that I really enjoyed streaming and that I would do this almost every single day. And it has helped me a lot personally and I guess other people too, because they tell me that a lot. Well, that's yeah. good. Um, so your mom then was kind of sneaky. She was like, oh, you can, oh, yeah, sure. You can stream yeah, just, right. Just bit. only when you can. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> School is important, which I mean, it still sticks with me, but yeah. Well, I'm glad that, I'm glad that they're, you know, more supportive now, yes. at least of yes. this specific thing. So yeah. that's great. Um, so any kind of plans long-term then? Just moving to LA and then finishing my college, like, and yeah, my family lives down here. My main family lives here, but mm -hmm. my mom and dad, we live up north. Okay. Yeah. So just going to kind of see what happens? Yeah, there's so much opportunity here. It's crazy. Like, the more that I talk to people, which, I mean, I used to not because I was super shy, but now I'm, like, super open and stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity here, so. So since you're an AD carry main, I do yeah. want to touch on that. Ooh, okay, okay. I mean, it's, you know, it's... <laughs> Obviously, every role thinks they're the weakest. I would oh, say yeah. with the new jungle changes, we can actually probably say that they will be the weakest, yeah. even though they've been strong the in the jungle past. Jungle changes, I haven't looked into them that much, but I mean. They just get a lot less experience. Okay. So just expect more ganks, which actually is really bad for you. <laughs> but yeah, so getting into that, yeah. um, you know, why did you choose AD Carry? What's, what's fun about that role for you? I just love being able to, it's really bad. I like being able to go and do damage but sometimes I play really aggressive and I think it like allows me to make really flashy plays where either I'll go in and 1v4 and then kill everybody or I'll 1v4 and then chat just spams Omega lol so <laughs> so it's just that. good for a streamer then Content it sounds like yeah like Callista she was like kind of what I'm known oh. for and she's so difficult to play I feel like but she can make some insane plays and she's entertaining to watch people tell me so yeah <laughs> So I'm, I actually am seeing a trend here because yeah. it's like Cutie Pie and Tyler One and you. You're all 80 carries. Yeah. So it makes sense. So that's another strategy, I guess, is choose your role if you want to be a streamer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you're known for. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. A lot of streamers have that. Like Stylish is known for Zed and mm -hmm. yeah. But choose 80 carry because apparently it works <laughs> out. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of top streamers are 80 carry yeah. players. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anything else you want to talk about, um, either shouting your stream out, maybe some memes or something, um, uh, shout or out anything to the sushi else? Gang. That's my community name. I don't know why. We just, it used to be like gray screen simulator or gray screen club. Cause I would always die, but we changed it to sushi gang. Cause I love sushi and it's like my sub things and, uh, Spire as well. They've helped me so much with my stream recently. It's, it's kind of like been in the direction of like, okay, we're looking into big sponsorships now and we're looking into you like legitimately you know, being a, like a person, a figure out there. So they have helped me like so much and Takashi as well. He's awesome. He's so sweet. And yeah, my parents too. They've been so great to me. It was like in the beginning, they're like video games. Uh, no, you're <laughs> staying in school, nursing. That's good. But no, they're, they're just like, do what you enjoy. 
Yeah. That's good. It sounds like, you know, they are supportive because, of mm-hmm. course, as a parent, I understand yeah. when, you know, when I say like, oh, yeah, I'm working in the gaming industry. Yeah. I understand. Oh. But that's yeah. awesome. Good. I'm glad you have so much support. Of course, best of luck going forward. Um, and thank you all for watching. You guys, wait, yeah, let's shout out your, your stream. So tell them uh, your socials, your stream, anything else to go follow you. So if you literally just Google Your Princess, everything will come up. But Your Princess <laughs> is my Twitch. Your Princess LOL is my Instagram and my Twitter. And twistscore.gg slash Your Princess is my Discord. So, yeah. And go and find the highlight videos from Twitch Rivals oh, yeah. and the <laughs> cutie pie shout out. My YouTube channel. It's Ooh. like... Like it's crazy. I have like, on our, our, our I argue him as like the one of the best League of Legends editors out there. People tell me, like ninety percent of the comments is actually like this editing is insane. Like because every single video is like a movie, almost. So yeah. And <laughs> the who is yes. the who's the editor? Uh, his name is Joel. He goes by Paya Joey. Okay. Yeah, he lives in SoCal, but he's not like super well known. But he definitely. Oh my gosh, he's. He really needs to be like well known. He's awesome. Well, shout out to Joel. Thank you so much. And thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, for sure. And we'll see you next time. And thank you all. We'll see you as well. Bye. Bye.